Hey, I'm Coach Robert DeBono from Game Changer Gym, and today we're going to talk about counting calories. Uh, more specifically, do you have to count calories in order to lose weight? Is it something that you have to do to reach your goals if you're trying to lean out? Um, first of all, the important thing is really just to understand why somebody would count calories. So let's understand the why first, and that's what's very important. You need to understand that if you're trying to lose body fat, you're trying to lose weight, it really does come down to one formula. It's the calories, calories you take in versus the calories that you expend out. So if you want to lose body fat, you do need to take in fewer calories than you burn throughout the day, just from daily activity and from exercise. So do you have to count calories? You do not have to count calories, but it is a great strategy to use, and it will give you the most accuracy as far as losing body fat and understanding what you're taking in. So if you're counting everything that you're eating, if you're tracking everything you're putting into your body, it's going to give you a, a great uh, base of information to work off of. So if you're not losing enough body fat, all you have to do is look at your food log and say, I'm going to take up X amount of calories and I'm going to subtract that food from my diet. So if you're trying to lose body fat and you're willing to put in uh, a lot of work that may be a little tedious and maybe um, you know require a little more out of you uh, than a, a simple nutrition plan, then yes, counting calories would be the way to go. It's going to be the best way to get results. But of course, not everybody um, has the time or the inclination to put in that kind of effort uh, to do that kind of menial work that goes along with counting calories. So if that's the case, you do not have to count calories. Again, the most important thing is just to understand the calories in, calories out equation, how it's going to affect your body. Now, if we're not going to count calories, the important thing is that you must track something. It is not enough to just say, I am going to eat healthier, I'm going to exercise, therefore I'm going to lose weight. If you were not tracking anything and simply going in with the mindset that you're going to eat healthier foods, for 95% of the people this simply will not work because you are not going to realize all the food you're putting into your body, you're going to forget about certain snacks, uh, certain bites that you take, certain uh, unhealthy meals. Uh, so if you're not tracking anything, if you're simply going with a thought process that you're going to eat healthier, I can almost guarantee you it's just not going to work out that way. So if you're not counting calories and you can't just eat healthier, there's got to be something in the middle, right? Um, and what we're going to do is you're going to track something and take some kind of measurable item that you can track along the way every day. Um, and you can start with a few, you can start with one, you can build upon there as you see fit. And I have a few examples for you. Uh, you can track how many meals you eat in a day, okay? Let's say you used to eat you're just eating four or five meals, you cut that down to three or four. That's a way to reduce calories without having to count uh, every last one. You can go the opposite route um, and try to count something that you can increase. So you can count your vegetable intake, you can count your water intake. Maybe you aim for 80 ounces of water a day, or maybe five fistfuls of vegetables a day. Uh, that's going to be a viable strategy because you're going to be intaking more of things that have very few calories and they're going to keep you full. So thus, they're going to uh, indirectly make you uh, eat fewer of the things that have very high calories. Uh, you can track your alcohol intake for the week. Let's say you're used to having 10 alcoholic beverages uh, during the week. Maybe you cut that down to three. You can track your treats. This is something that I like to suggest for a lot of people. Treats can be anything that's fried, um, anything that's dessert, anything that is you know, cakes, cookies, ice cream, whatever you normally have in a week. Cut that in half, track that amount. Uh, if we're going to get now with the calories out portion, you can count your steps. Try to increase your steps by 1,000 per day. You normally walk 8,000 steps a day, increase that to 9,000 every day. You can also count things if you want to get a little more specific, uh, carbs and fat. Maybe you go per meal. Maybe you just take one of them. Maybe you're going to stay under 15 grams of fat per meal. If you're able to track fat, you're not tracking every single calorie you're taking in, but it's a measurable that you can go off of. You take a few of these, you track them, if you hit a plateau, then you, need to, you know you need to reduce somewhere. So do you have to count calories to lose weight? No, you don't. It's a very effective strategy if you do want to put in the work to do that. And if you don't, then you just need to be tracking something. Because I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, if you're trying to lose body fat, eating healthier is not enough. If you do that, you're going to be disappointed with the results. So make sure you track something, you'll be more accountable, and you'll have a better system to go off of. I'm Game Changer Coach Robert Cabono, and we'll talk to you next time.